Russia has repeatedly denied that it is targeting civilians. This is as its military continues its advancement through Ukraine. Our international affairs editor, Dominic Waghorn, is in Moscow, and he put the civilian deaths to the Russian Foreign Ministry spokesperson, Maria Zakharova. You say you're trying to protect civilians, but we've seen one civilian building hit after another, residential blocks, uh, Freedom Square in Kharkiv, local government buildings, and we've seen mounting numbers of civilian casualties. Are your soldiers just bad at targeting, or are you actually lying about this? Uh, if you're going to ask a question in the same tone, I'm, going, I'm not going to speak to you. You can ask these questions to your British politicians, but here you should behave properly. If you can't do this, you shouldn't be a journalist. Do you understand me? We are open to all. I repeat, I haven't finished my answer. I perfectly understand because I also studied in the Faculty of International Information and I know how you should pose questions when you want to put your position into that. I would like to point your attention to the fact that from the very beginning the Ministry of Defense is targeting the military infrastructure. As Minister Lavrov stated today, it's true that there are victims among armed forces and among civilians. But it's surprising that you are asking this question. You are representative of a country that for so many years, for decades, has been waging a bloodshed war in countries that don't have a common border with you. And about who is lying? It's the British government is lying when they supported the invasion of Iraq, but later they recognized that it was, it was a lie, but they were not responsible for that. Do you have any questions? Because it will be a pleasure for me to answer them. The municipal building in, in Kharkiv and Freedom Square is not a military target, and yet it was clearly hit by a missile that destroyed the building. And we've seen any number of residential buildings, blocks of flats, homes, entire villages being wiped out by Russian fire. I mean, what, what I'm saying, and I, you know, whether you object to my tone or not, is, is this bad aiming bad targeting by the Russian military, or are you being disingenuous with these claims that you're not variant. targeting civilians? A variant. Говорите... There is a third option. You have mentioned two options. There is a third one. These are fakes. These are materials published by Ukrainian fighters. And when they show these uh, materials, this is the result of what uh, Ukrainian fight fighters are doing. Can you give me materials you are talking about? We will give them to the Ministry of Defense and they will comment them. And the way how you are making this conversation, this is just a part of the propaganda. Well, the disinformation war continues. Um, it just gets more bizarre, doesn't it? Let's speak to Dominic, who was asking that question. Uh, he joins us now from Moscow. Um, and Dominic, I don't think it was so much your tone uh, she was objecting to, but actually the subject matter. You're not allowed to ask about civilian deaths uh, when it comes to Russian officials. Well, also, I think confusing with me with a member of the British government, which I think is rather revealing about the sort of mentality of, of uh, pe people like uh, Maria Zakharova and how she views Russian journalists who are often kind of mouthpieces for their own uh, government. Um, she is a formidable spokesperson. She, I think, spoke for two hours um, without interruption before the Q&A session began. Um, but she is really the only person you can put questions to, the only opportunity we have to hold the Russian government to account. And it, I think we're particularly keen to put to her these claims that she's made, that her boss, Sergei Lavrov, the foreign minister, has made, and Vladimir Putin also said in this phone call that Laura was there talking about, uh, that he had with Emmanuel Macron, that they're not targeting um, civilians are not um, striking civilian targets where they clearly are from all the evidence we've seen and uh, she I mean she said that I haven't seen the pictures of this attack on Freedom Square in Kharkiv pictures which have been I mean going around the world on all kinds of uh, news channels not on Russian official state media but that very striking image of a missile going into Freedom Square and destroying that municipal building, she says she simply hasn't seen. So we will obviously send those pictures to her and get her reaction, but I suspect she has uh, seen them. But, yeah, we're seeing a very a kind of uni a, a parallel universe emerging between what the rest of the world is seeing and what Russian officials have been saying. Uh, 
particularly her and her, her boss, Sergei Lavrov, uh, and his claim that the fight will go on until Russia has achieved its aims, which is neutrality of Ukraine, the demilitarization of it, and the denazification of it as well. But just to add to what Laura was saying there, well, these, these lines coming out of the meeting between Macron and Putin, I think, are probably the most depressing. It is the most depressing readout I've ever had, I've ever seen from a phone call between uh, leaders, because Putin is clearly digging in his heels. French officials saying there was nothing reassuring what Putin told Macron. Putin showed his determination to carry on operations. So whatever the international cond condemnation, whatever the sanctions being implemented now, and they are punishing, and they're going to really punish the Russian economy, the people as well as the government, Putin is carrying on regardless.